The Bemidji Symphony Orchestra reigned in the holiday season last night with their annual holiday concert titled Holidays at Home. The concert was held at Bemidji High School and featured a guest performer. Justin Othout has more. The holiday season is currently in full swing, with festive tunes permeating the air. And holiday music could be heard last night as the Bemidji Symphony Orchestra's holiday concert spread yuletide cheer with its musical arrangements. We try to play a lot of familiar holiday music, so some of the music is the same from year to year, but then we vary it up a little bit. Uh, we've got a lot of family-friendly music like The Grinch, um, we've got a sing-along for everyone. And just some classical, you know, good, good quality classical music going on, including the great sleigh ride with the... Uh that everybody's heard. Last night's concert was titled Holidays at Home, which was meant to serve as a nostalgic reminder of holidays spent wherever one calls home. Well, I feel like maybe it's kind of calling all of us to, to remembrances and to our loved ones and to those feelings of home even when we can't physically be there. In order to evoke that feeling, a performance requires the right combination of passion for the music they're playing and a sense of community among the orchestra. There is a spirit or a magic, if you will, within the room, within those musicians, and they all take such great pride in what they do. There is a human behind every single instrument in there. It's not like music that you hear on the radio that's been canned and recorded, and we hear it over and over. This is live, this is real, there's heart and soul. So it really, gives you adrenaline rush being in front of all that, and I'm very excited and very honored. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. And the Bemidji Symphony Orchestra will be holding three more concerts this season with their next set to take place February 19th. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.